student. And my teacher gave me this project to create a home which is eco-friendly and energy efficient. It took around one week to create this house. I got my ideas and drew this blueprint. Now let me show you the house. Let's start from here. This is a solar panel. It contains photovoltaic cells which capture sunlight, from, capture sunlight from the sun and generate that into electricity. But one disadvantage. On a cloudy day or in the winter time when there's not enough sunlight, the solar panel will not be able to generate enough electricity to power the whole house. Th because of this, we need an alternative to generate electricity. This is a wind turbine. It generates wind energy into electrical energy. The wind spins the turbine blaze, goes through a long shaft and leading to a generator. But again, a disadvantage. On a still day, when it's not so windy, the, the wind won't be able to spin the turbines that much to be able to generate enough electricity to power the whole house. I installed, that's why I installed few of those wind turbines here. Now let's come here to the water, rainwater and snow harvesting plant. Rain and snow is gathered inside of this water tank and accumulated inside of the well. There's also a turbine inside of the water which spins and generates electricity. This water can also be used to water the plants in the greenhouse and water the grass inside of the barn. Time to cover my nose. We're approaching the barn. It's going to get stinky. This is the barn. It has lots of animals in it. The droppings which the animals leave behind are collected inside of the biogas plant. I also have a compost bin. Food scraps and food leftovers from the kitchen are gathered inside of the compost bin. Then they go through a weekly process of being dumped inside of the biogas plant. After all that stinky messy stuff, let's come to the greenhouse. The greenhouse has a glass roof so that sunlight can reach the plants. There's the temperature inside of the greenhouse is also maintained so you can grow plants, fruits and vegetables in, in the winter time. I can't wait to show you the inside of the house now. This is my energy efficient garage. You can see there are some solar panels at the top of it too. We all, I also have a solar powered car. Let me show you. Wasn't that cool? There's also a battery inside of the car which gathers the energy from the sun and, gen and stores that so that when you drive in the night time when there's no sun then you can still use the energy from the battery to run your car. Oh look it's a motion sensor light. So when there's movement near it and it's dark that time the light will glow. But look right now it's so bright even though there's motion movement near it it's still not glowing. Now let's go into the house. First, we have energy efficient LED lights. They are more brighter than normal light bulbs and they conserve less pow power. These walls are also special. They are insulated walls. They maintain the temperature inside of the house. I love this feature. It's marble tile flooring. In the summertime, the marble flooring keeps the house cool without using air conditioners. This house has a living room, kitchen, bedroom and a washroom. And did you know all the appliances in the house are powered by renewable sources of energy. Now let's go to the backyard once again for a second. This is a geothermal energy plant. This, similar to the marble tile flooring, 
you can I can use the geothermal energy plant to heat up my house in the winter time. Have you ever heard of a geothermal energy plant? If not, then the big pipes are installed into the earth which have hot air heat up your house. Let's come back. Okay, this might sound a little bit gross, but I want to show you something in the washroom. It's the toilet. Let me demonstrate. Let me open my scratch project to demonstrate. toilet works on suction and vacuum. It also conserves less water so it's eco-friendly. One more thing I want to show you in the washroom is the shower. The sh this, this is a sensor based shower. Whenever it, it, it detects that something is near it, the shower head automatically comes and sprinkles little water at a time. There's also a water boiler which is which is powered by renewable sources of energy. Let me show you something in the kitchen now. Whatever, whatever dirty water which has been used from the sink, if that water is collected in this black pipe and comes to a water filtering plant. Oh, the, the filter in the filtration plant contains gravel, sand and charcoal. This is a natural filter, so we don't need to be dependent on machines. Next, the purified water, the clean and purified water, comes to this green pipe and comes back to the sink so that it can be used. Now, let me show you the real heart of the house. It's the generator. All of the energy from these renewable sources come to the generator and is used inside the house. There's so much energy in this generator that I plan to share it with the community. This was my eco-friendly and energy efficient house. I hope it's inspiring to other people. Good luck making your own house. Also, the materials which are used are easy and quick to find in your home. I used cardboard, chart paper, Lego pieces, and I had it, so I used few materials from my robotics kit. Press the subscribe button and if you and put a comment down below. If you like my video, press the thumbs up button. Also, don't forget, press the bell icon so you get further notifications of my upcoming videos. Bye!